Hello everyone, welcome to PS Galaxy. In this video, we will continue Geography Chapter 2, Land, Soil and Water. In the last video, we have completed Soil and Land and today we will discuss Water. So let's start. What is Water? Water is a renewable natural resource and three-fourths of Earth's surface is covered with water. However, 97% of the Earth's water is saline and found in ocean and seas. 2% of the total amount of water is frozen fresh water and exists in the form of polar ice cap and snow on high mountain. Hence, only 1% of fresh water is available for us. And this fresh water is the most precious substance on earth because we drink that. Water will never get over. It will always be there on earth. But we are talking about consumable water or fresh water and that is what matter to us because we are going to drink that not the ocean water we use water for various purposes like drinking washing agriculture industries we also use water for generating electricity now where does the water come from what is its sources let's see there are various sources of water and rain is the primary source of fresh water River, lakes, groundwater are secondary sources of water. Now, as we know rain is the primary source, let's see how rain occurs. For this, we need to know what is water cycle. Water cycle involves the continuous circulation of water in the Earth's atmosphere. The main processes involved in the cycle are evaporation, condensation, precipitation and runoff. Now, see this diagram. During the daytime, the saline water of oceans and seas evaporates to form vapors which goes up in the sky and form clouds. On cooling and condensing, these clouds precipitate in the form of rain, hail or snow. And this natural process brings to us fresh water which is usable by humans. Now, let's discuss the freshwater sources of India. Nature has abundantly blessed India with rich water resources in the form of various water bodies like rivers, lakes, etc. and also with groundwater. Indian rivers can be broadly classified as perennial and seasonal. Now what is perennial rivers? Perennial rivers are those rivers which have a continuous flow of water all the year. These rivers are Indus, Ravi, Bias, Chenab, Jhelum, Satluj, Ganga, Yamuna, Gomti, etc. Seasonal rivers. Seasonal rivers are rain-fed and do not flow all the year round. They are mainly found in central and peninsular India and include Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri, Narmada, Tapi, Chambal, etc. Now, let's discuss about groundwater sources. Groundwater sources are abundant in the northern plain because these plains allow seepage of water and also experience abundant rainfall. It is also because these plains are made up of rich perennial river basin. However, a large portion of our groundwater remains unutilized due to lack of technology and fun. Sometimes, pollutants on the land surface seep down into the ground and contaminate groundwater. And this is an alarming situation in many places, especially where groundwater is utilized for drinking and agriculture. This signifies the importance of conserving and preserving our freshwater resources. Now, here are some of the ways to conserve water. 1. The practice of rainwater harvesting should be encouraged. 2. Leaking taps should be repaired to prevent wastage of water. 3. Rainwater must be stored and utilized for domestic uses like cleaning the house and watering plants, etc. 4. To prevent water pollution, industrial waste must not be disposed of in water bodies. 5. Immersion of idols or floral offering in water bodies must be strictly forbidden. 6. Most importantly, trees must be planted because it helps replenish groundwater storage. With this, Geography Chapter 2 comes to an end. Hope to see you soon in our next video with another new chapter. Till then, stay home, stay safe.